Hello there, this is Mark from Surf and Sound in Leeds. Just going to do a couple of videos now um, just to show you how to pair your iPhone as and when you get a new one. Um, so you need to pair your phone um, to the Ghost itself and then also how to clear the Ghost's memory. Um, if you don't do the correct procedure when removing your old phone, we need to do what we call the forced removal, uh, which is what we're going to show you in this video. But first things first, what you want to do is you need to uh, go into the Bluetooth memory, uh, sorry, Bluetooth settings of your phone. Um, and you'll have something in there called Igla. So as you can see, we've got that Igla. That is the ghost itself. If you click on information and then you've got forget this device, click on forget this device, like so. That now clears um, clears the actual pairing of the device from the phone memory. What we also want to do now is go into the actual ghost app. So we go into the ghost app, go down into settings, and then you can see there clear all vehicle pairing information. It's the only one that's highlighted. Click on that and then clear it. So that's it. Now you can, if you want, at this point, turn your phone off and turn your phone back on. Um, it sometimes helps if you struggle with connections. It can help, but um, but to be, uh, on this instance, I think we should be fine. I shouldn't need to do it. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to actually... Um, now we need to do the um, clear the memory of the ghost. Now to do this, it's basically the same as changing the pin number, but you're going to enter the exact same pin. So um, now all we're going to do, ignition on. Uh, we put our current pin number in which is currently set just to four presses of mode for simplicity of the video so one two three four that's as normal disarm like so two flashes of indicator so the ghost has now disarmed we're not starting the engine this is just ignition on only you're going to put your foot down on the accelerator all the way to the floor while your foot's down if you just enter the exact same pin number again so one two three four now at this point this is where the indicator is going to start flashing once every three seconds so this is what you do when you want to change your pin number. However, what we're going to do, because we're not changing the pin and we just want to clear the ghost memory, we're just going to enter the exact same pin number again. So one, two, three, four. Flash of the indicators each time I press it, followed by three flashes to confirm the first entry of the pin number. Now the second time, we're going to enter it again. One, two, three, four. We're going to get a series of rapid flashes. We'll get four quick flashes. Two, three, four four like so then rapid flashes at the end that just tells us it's cleared the ghost memory it's learned the exact same pin number again and cleared the ghost's memory so that's all you need to do the memory is now clear um so we'll do a second video showing you how to pair the um pair the phone up now um so yeah if you uh, want to follow on uh, to that video that'd be great